Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raider Sport, the number one Raider show on the internet. Today's show, I'm predicting the six team captains for the Oakland Raiders in 2019. The first guy, pretty obvious, right? It's Derek Carr. He's been the team captain the last three seasons. This is going to be his fourth straight year. He's been the Raiders' starting quarterback since 2014, and since entering the NFL, I think he's been pretty productive. He's also the highest paid Raider in 2019 with that cap hit of $22.5 million. I'm telling you what, all I would wish for every day is I'd come into Chat Sports and have their cap hit at 22.5. But this is what Derek has done the last four years. Now, we want 2016, 2015 Derek back, and it's why I've been saying 2019, get ready to drink. It's his prove it year. But Derek is on the cusp of accomplishing some pretty awesome stuff here. So, Raiders passing yard leaders throughout a career. I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'm going to say Derek Carr breaks this record. <laughs> Call me absolutely crazy. But I think Derek is going to get past Ken Stabler. But he's also on the cusp of breaking the all-time Raiders passing touchdowns leader. He's got 122 right now. He needs 29, hashtag math, to break Ken Stabler's record of 150 touchdown passes. A new all-time leader. I think it's going to be Derek Carr. That one's for Chucky Heads. Believe it. Baby, but I got a question for everybody who's watching the Raiders report. Who's your favorite Raiders player right now? Mine's Derek Carr. I have his jersey, and I would say out of all the players that I talk about most, it's probably Derek Carr. So who's your favorite Raiders player right now if you're watching on YouTube? If you're watching on Facebook, I want you to comment below. Now, today's show is all about the Raiders team captains in 2019, so I figured, hey, why not show you the captains that the Raiders had last season? Derek Carr. Rodney Hudson, Reggie Nelson. These were three players who were had three straight years of being captains. Reggie Nelson, he decided to retire. Then, But here's the other thing. The Raiders, they also had other three captains. And Bruce Irving, well, he's no longer on the team. Derek Johnson, he retired. And Kyle Wilbur, he's kind of been overshadowed a little bit this offseason. Is he even going to make the final roster? He could be a solid depth option, but these were three captains on the Raiders last season. I don't really anticipate any of them. But one of the players that I just mentioned, Rodney Hudson, I expect him to be the team captain again. So team captain the last three years. John Gruden came out and said this offseason that he's the best center I've ever coached. And there's a reason why he was awarded the best pass blocking center in the NFL by Pro Football Focus from 2015 to 2018. And this entire offseason, we're talking about protecting Derek Carr. It's, it's Rodney Hudson. Rodney Hudson, I don't care that the Lakers just traded, just traded for Anthony Davis. Rodney Hudson's still the best center in all of California. So he's still holding it down. He's got a be next to Richie Incognito, which, hey, I'll be honest, that's kind of scary. But holding down the offensive line, we need to have this offensive line back to 2016, 2017, where Derek Carr was upright. So, if the Raiders were allowed only one captain, who would get it? Type H for Hudson or type C for Carr? I think it's a good question. I don't want to just give it to Carr because he's a quarterback. I think Rodney Hudson has a real argument here. So, I want to know from the entire nation because this show, not about me, it's about y'all. If the Raiders were only allowed one captain, who would get it? Type H for Hudson or type C for Carr. Ready? We're going to play another game. First Raiders player you can think of, comment below. Whoever it was, you have to comment below. So what I did is I put this out on my Twitter, and I asked, and I have over 200 comments still flowing in on who was the first Raiders player that you think of. So I took some of the answers, and we're going to have a little bit of fun here on the Raiders report. So Raider Rick is going with Ken Stable, Stabler, as I slur my words. American Psycho, go follow him at, at Colton underscore MC, said Rich Gannon. Jonathan Peso, goes with Derek Carr. No, not Peso, whatever. Peso, Pesto. Metro, Metro Boomin, uh, is going to go with Bo Jackson. I'm all about that one, all about that. Hashtag We the North is going to go with Cecil Reese 45. So yesterday was Marcel Reese's birthday. He actually liked this tweet. James Duffin, great answer, Mitchell Renz. But get a picture. I, I, I can help you get a Twitter picture. There's no, about, no doubt about that. Comment below. First Raiders player that you think of. Got it? Let's keep it moving here. Number three on my list is Dwayne Harris. And I like Dwayne Harris a lot. 31 years old. He's got a lot of experience in the NFL. He's about to enter his second year with the Oakland Raiders. Now, he is regarded 
as one of the smartest players in the league to other players. And just in terms of special teams, the dude's a weapon. When you talk about football IQ, it's off the charts. And I think when you talk about offense, it's going to be Derek and Rodney. And you want to talk about a special teams captain? You're looking at Dwayne Harris, who last year was our punt returner and was also our kick returner. And I remember Christmas, I'm sitting there with my dad, and Dwayne Harris is taking kicks back to the house. Like, it was awesome, an amazing experience that I got to share with my dad. Dwayne Harris, he's number three on my list for team captains. So I got Derek Carr. I said Rodney Hudson. And then I said Dwayne Harris. So... Would you guys want Dwayne Harris to be a captain this year? Now, Hudson and Carr, it's going to be their fourth straight year. So first year for Dwayne Harris at age 31, second year with the Raiders. I want you to type four for Believe It, baby, or type zero for Tuck Rule, Tuck That. Now, put this in your calendar. Ten Barrel Brewing in San Diego, California. I'm going to be there Saturday, July 6th at 2 p.m. So if you want to come talk Raiders, you want to have a beer with me, take a screenshot, Send it over the airwaves on IG and on Twitter because I'm trying to get a big group of people there. We're going to show that the nation is large and proud, even in San Diego. So 10 Barrel Brewing, San Diego, California, Saturday, July 6, 2 p.m. I better see you there. Number four on my list for team captains, it's Gabe Jackson. So the Raiders selected him in the third round of the 2014 draft. And the 2014 draft was a very, very good draft for the Raiders. Now, he's started 72 games in the last five seasons. He's been very, very productive. I think he's been, I'll say, one of the most productive Raiders since 2014. I think we can all agree with that. But he's a favorite amongst the fans. He's a favorite amongst the coaches and the players. So Gabe Jackson, Rodney Hudson's going to be the star of that offensive line. But I don't think we need to forget about Gabe Jackson. And I don't want you guys to forget about this amazing promo deal that I got from my bookie. Use it. Go Raiders. You should be able to remember that for a 100% deposit bonus. You see down below where it says play now? You want to use it? Chatsports.com slash Raiders. Use my promo code Go Raiders for 100% deposit bonus. You guys know I'm not good at math, but watch this. $50 down, get $50 for free. You want to be a big baller? Put down $300, get $300 for free. Shout out to my bookie, chatsports.com slash Raiders. All right, number five, you ready? Vontez Burfick. Yeah, I think Vontez Burfick is going to be a team captain for the Oakland Raiders this upcoming season. He's played underneath defensive coordinator Paul Gunther before with the Cincinnati Bengals. And you talk it to a bunch of young players this offseason around the Raiders, they're saying that they're going to Vontez to learn this defense. So he's done a lot of crazy things in terms of penalties on the field. But if there's one thing, all his teammates have always said that he is a true teammate and they do respect him because he's going to have their back. With when you consider then his experience in the defense, you got a bunch of young players, got a bunch of new players on this defense. If you can rely on somebody who knows the certain schemes and who's had productive seasons in that scheme, I think Paul Gunther is going to award Vontez Perfect a team captain. But would you want to see Vontez with that nice big C on his chest? So type Y for yes or type N for no. I'm typing my Y for yes because I think at the end of the day, Vontez Perfect being a team captain kind of gives you another coach on the field, which I think is going to be really, really important. Now, normally I give shout-outs to Twitter. I also give shout-outs on Instagram. But what does your Instagram bio say? So normally I just put on names. Now, we're going to have a little bit more fun today. What does your Instagram bio say? So Jordan, at Too Slick Jordan, I had to uh, paraphrase something. So he says, Tom, a Mitch, I just want the check. Doesn't say Tom, Mitch with a B, you guys do the math. Theo Young. At Theezy Young Sheed, I chose this life living it to the fullest. I mean, I totally agree. I can't think of a better way to live my life than watching the Raiders report. So totally agree there. And then Manny. Manny's always hitting me up on IG, always liking my picks. So Manny, much love to you. She called me the referee because that was so official. I actually really, really like that one. If you guys want to know what my bio is, hit me up. IG, Twitter, MitchellRens365. All right, last player that I think is going to be a team captain, it's Antonio Brown. Traded to the Raiders this offseason, and John Gruden has already come out and said multiple times that he's the hardest working player I have ever seen. Now, I also know he's one of the best wide receivers in the NFL, and if we're talking about keeping Derek Carr happy, there's another player we need to keep happy. That's Mr. Big Chest, and Mr. Big Chest has gotten that nickname for putting up some sick numbers the last four years, heck, the last six years. 104 catches last year, a career-high 15 touchdowns. 
You want to keep Mr. Big Chest happy? An easy way to do it is putting a C on that big chest. So I think Antonio Brown is going to be one of the Raiders wide receivers. So I'm going to ask everybody who's watching the Raiders sport right now. Is he going to be a captain? I want you to type 84 for yes or type TM for Tom no for, yeah, Tom no. So will Antonio Brown be a captain of the Oakland Raiders this season? So let's take a look now at my team captain projections for the Oakland Raiders in 2019. Derek Carr, Rodney Hudson, Dwayne Harris, and then my last three might be a little bit of a surprise. We got Gabe Jackson, Vontez Perfect, and Antonio Brown. So those are my six players that I think are going to be Raiders captains in 2019. Now, who deserves to be a captain? Any of those six players you're obviously allowed to put down. But this show, I want to know more interaction. I want to have more commentary. So if you're watching on YouTube, Facebook, I want you to comment below. Who deserves to be a Raiders captain in 2019? Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here. I'm giving you Chucky Heads news, rumors, Raider Nation rumors. And look at this. I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching, and go Raiders.